Auburn's win comes just after Ohio State beat their biggest rival, Michigan, up there in the state up north. Tenevi's Dom DeBerry joins us now with more on what Auburn's win means for the Buckeyes. Ohio State definitely going to be a number two. The question is, could Auburn jump over Ohio State, I guess? huh? I, I don't think that's going to happen tomorrow, and uh, it's open for debate. But we all know anything can happen in rivalry games. Alabama finding out the hard way just a few moments ago. As you just saw here on 10 TV, Auburn hosting top-ranked Alabama. Just a second left in the game, tied at 28. Bama trying a 57-yard field goal. The kick is short. Auburn's Chris Davis takes it and will bring it all the way back 100 yards for the touchdown. Auburn pulling off the upset, beating Alabama 34-28. Should send shockwaves through the BCS standings that come out tomorrow. The Buckeyes currently ranked number three, but one would think with that win over Michigan today, the Buckeyes should move up to number two tomorrow with Florida State taking over the top spot. Of course, at the end of the year, the top two teams will play for the national title. Our Bo Bishop is in Ann Arbor, and he joins us with more on that Buckeye win today. And, Bo, it wasn't easy, but it was a huge win now, as we can see. Well, and as you just said right there, Don, that was probably the most important finish in the history of college football when you consider what was at stake and the drama of it. And, of course, what it meant not only for Alabama and Auburn, but even more importantly for us to Ohio State. You talked about a game that went right down to the wire. Well, we had one here as well. Let's look at some of the highlights from the big house earlier this afternoon. And this thing was back and forth, although no one expected it would be. Michigan up to the task without doubt. Ohio State driving the ball down the field late culminating with a Carlos Hyde touchdown run. Michigan comes right back down the field, though, and it was Devin Gardner. He found Devin Funches for a one-point game at that point, 42-41. Brady Hoke went for two, and Tyvis Powell sniffed it out. Incredible finish to a game no one's going to forget. I'm just happy that we got that win today. You know, that, that win right there is huge. You know, if we take an L right there, that's on the feet of the season and all that don't even matter anymore. So I'm just happy that we got the win today. It was a good game, good, good hard-fought game. And I uh, understand they ain't, they ain't let up at all. You know, they, uh, they, the, little, the record they had, they ain't phase them at all. And that win even bigger now, as Dom mentioned, Ohio State will move up to number two in the BCS most likely, and now just our one win away from playing for a BCS national championship. One note, Jeff Hireman watching the game on the team bus driving back to Columbus tweeted, Jesus is a Buckeye. Chuck, back to you. <laughs> All right, and we're going to probably be hearing a lot more of those comments like that, Bo. Thanks so much. Live from Michigan tonight. And for more post-game coverage, including highlights, statistics, and pictures after the Michigan-Ohio State game, just visit our special web section at 10tv.com slash Buckeye Blitz.